I have actually been to Nashville quite a few times during the 2020 season. Although there was COVID, I have got a chance to experience a little bit of the food scene there. Um, I'm very excited to go back and experience the racetrack and all the fans. Definitely going to be an interesting one. Not sure what to expect. Uh, hoping to have a really clean weekend though. But uh, what I have heard is the track is very bumpy and very tight. Having been only in four of the last 10 races and now coming down to the final final six, uh, I'm super excited to be racing in Nashville. Um, you know, I do think that we have a really great shot here to keep the car within leadership circle points and, uh, you know, to keep moving forward. You know, I think another solid top 10 or even a top five would be fantastic for the team. Uh, they've been overall very competitive at street courses. Um, and that's what I felt, uh, especially coming off of Detroit. Um, moving forward, hopefully in the chance I get to run some more road courses, uh, definitely need to work on our qualifying in our car out of the box or like off the hauler. And uh, from there, I think we'll have more good weekends to finish out the year strong. It was definitely nice to have a couple weeks off. I wouldn't say I've had a full month. I have done some Xfinity racing uh, between the last race in Ohio and now. Um, I have been doing some simulator. I've uh, been in the gym. I actually took a weekend off uh, on vacation with my pups and my girlfriend. So feeling really recharged and can't wait to be back in the seat next week. I'm super excited to be actually racing in Nashville. It definitely is one of the top three races of the season to be at or to attend, you know, with Long Beach and the Indy 500, of course. Uh, it's a big deal for me because we're representing high V. We're in the Midwest. Uh, Nashville is one of those very much party cities, go to have a weekend vacation and hang out. Uh, it just has a lot of great everything. It has a great atmosphere, great food scene, great bar culture, a lot of live music. I'm a huge fan of that. And, uh, you know, it's definitely one of those races where I definitely, other than the 500, I think it's going to be the biggest race of the season. So super excited to see everybody there. I have not actually raced over a bridge to my memory, but I have raced under one in Monaco. So a little bit different. Uh, I guess kind of the same effect in a way. Um, the racing's going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to making passes over the bridge and off the bridge uh, into some of the break zones. Like I said before, from what I've heard, the track's really tight and narrow, so it's going to make things very entertaining, especially for the opening lap, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It's very hard for the teams to prepare for a new track, especially a street circuit since there's no testing. Uh, the best thing that we can do is kind of go to the track beforehand, scan it, get a rough idea. I mean, we're kind of thinking it's like Toronto in a way. So from there, we take uh, you know our previous street course setups and kind of morph it into what we think would be a good fit for Nashville. Um, having success throughout the weekend is just going to be not really putting a foot wrong, getting all of our run time in, using all our sets of tires, uh, and just making sure that we have a very clean weekend leading up to the race.